Okay, so let's talk about context. There are four different types of context here. There is uh, what I call the scoping context, agency, domain context, time context, and data system context. And uh, spoiler alert, I'm gonna tell you that data system context is really not something you should worry about for the purpose of glossary. But there is, uh, what I mean by that is you have a glossary definition like address, okay? So address is a very generic term. It's probably not advisable to define that or to, it's not very usable as a, as a standalone thing. Uh, street is a scoping context. So it's like a very, it's a, it's a narrower definition of an address. So an ad, you know, we're talking about the street part of an address. Um, and that's sort of the scoping context. Uh, a time context for this would be, oh, my current address is street, right? That's a time context on, on this. Uh, current billion address is really putting in a sort of a domain. So that I've got the time context of current, I've got the domain of billing, and I've got the scoping of street. So my, we're talking about address, I'm talking about current billing, uh, the current billing address and the street part of, of that address. Um, you also can have like an agency or a domain. So I might be talking about my current street address, but it's for federal tax residents, right? So it's an it's a external domain. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm submitting it to my, for my um, taxes to the U.S. government. Um, so I, I mentioned here this concept of the data system context. I, I think in terms of, of glossary definitions, you, you should never really have the data system as part of the naming or part of the functional thing. So if we're talking about functional context, let's leave that, that off. If you are trying to put data system context there, you probably shouldn't. And that may be a bit confusing, but if you start uh, writing these things, I think it's going to come clear later. So, you know, here's an example of sort of the three things. We've got current study enrollment. It's another kind of uh, pharmaceutical definition. S subjects actively continuing to participate for study enrollment in a clinical trial as of the current date. So you've got scoping context, time context. So you've got enrollment, study enrollment, current study enrollment, current study enrollment status, current study enrollment status for FDA approval. So these are all things that we would recommend that you think about having uh, if, if it creates confusion or creates conflict or creates collision of definition usage to allow yourself to use this context in the naming and creation of new definitions with more specific context. And then you can use things like linking to the, to the other more general or, 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 or other scoping uh, definitions as a way to, to connect those.